Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jones Edition. Hope you guys have been doing very well. It is warming up here in Indiana and I'm so excited to be back outside in the sunlight. Hopefully doing a lot more Jeep projects for you guys since it's warmer. Um, I haven't talked about my worn winch yet uh, that I put on the bumper. I'm just going to do a quick video, just kind of talk about what I got, the story of how I found it, and uh, we'll just uh, see what happens. Stay tuned, guys. Alright, so yeah, I haven't talked much about my uh, worn winch that I got. Um, I talked about the bumper. You saw my bumper install video. If you haven't seen that, uh, go up and uh, I'll set, put the link there up for you for you guys to watch. So I was definitely wanting uh, a winch for the Jeep. You know, I go camping in this thing. Uh, I'm going to start camping a lot more. Hopefully this year I'll be camping a lot more. A lot of times I go by myself. Um, and it would be just nice to have a little bit of uh, peace of mind and some security knowing that if I do get stuck somewhere that I can probably get myself out. Um, so a lot of times I don't have cell phone service when I go out camping. Uh, so this definitely is going to be just a little bit extra just go out there a little bit more peace of mind but um i definitely wanted the winch i almost went with a brand new smithy, smithy built winch um, then i found on facebook marketplace this guy was selling this worn winch um, he initially had it for like 550 on there um, they're brand new over 700 i'll see if i can have a photo i'll put it up there for you guys to see new like 700 dollars or so but yeah, he had it for, I think initially $550 on Marketplace. And then the, when I found it, he already had it marked down to $450. And then um, when I went over there, I got him down to another another $50 down. So I got it for $400. He told me that the guy that had it before him um, had it on his Jeep, and, but not hooked up to the battery at all. So he doesn't believe that the guy even used it. Um, the guy I bought it from... Had it hooked up to his Jeep, but he says that he's never used it at all. So I, as far as I know, it's never actually ever been used. So that's even um, even better. But, uh, I, you know, initially, I, I mean, I wanted a synthetic rope. I wasn't really necessarily needing one. Um, but I, I do like the look better. I think it's going to be a lot cleaner look. I like the fair lead. It's a little simplistic. You know, sometimes the cable... Fair leads are kind of bulky with the rollers and stuff like that. And I want a little bit more slick look. Um, you know, even even the chrome D rings are, you know, I don't like those at all. So I was I like that I was able to get a black fair lead. It sounds silly, but I want it all to look nice and slick. But yeah, I haven't even really hooked it up yet, so I'm gonna try to hook it up here in a second and uh run it through its course here and see what happens here. Alright, I got it all hooked up here. I end up going uh, to the top posts here on both of them. I'm going to probably wrap that one up just a little bit more since it's a little exposed there. Uh, this battery thing, I'm going to have to tighten this thing up. It, the battery likes to slide a little bit. Um, the new J-hooks that I bought kind of come up into this, uh, hits this box. I'm going to have to trim them down. So I flip that around and I can't get them as tight as I want. So that's going to be a, another project down the road. I was gonna have my son help me, but he doesn't want to mess around with the winch right now. So I'm gonna try to do this um, one-handed here. I'll probably set my tripod up. Hang on one sec. Here's another clue that uh, shows me that I don't think they've used this um, cord. Um, it still has the zip ties on it from the uh, factory. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I've never had a winch before, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah, so there's not a lot to it. There's a uh, a free spool, and um, that's that's pretty much all you do is to turn this little thing counterclockwise, and it should have free spool here. Oh yeah, that's super cool. Let's uh, let's engage this back up. Twist on that. 
give it a little tight here. So pretty dog cool. I like it. Uh, now that it's wired up, that was very, very simple. Just um, black and red on the right terminals. I ran it down through here and uh, goes right here beside the uh, radiator. There's a little spot that actually just, uh, squeezes right through there. Pretty simple. We'll have to test that out on maybe the next camping trip, you know, like pull a log out of the way or something like that. But um, so far, you know, I haven't really used it, but I recommend these. You know, Warren is one of the top leading uh, brands and winches, so I was glad to get my hands on one, especially for that price. For those of you that are following the Jeep projects, stuff like that, the playlist, the next project I'm going to be working on with the Jeep are the door hinges. I have chrome door hinges still on the Jeep and also I ordered hood latches. I have chrome hood latches for the Jeep that I'm going to be replacing soon. So those are going to be the next projects. I don't know if I'll make two videos or one video for that um, but those are going to be coming off soon. And then um, shortly before it gets too warm I'm going to be putting a tent on the TJ. After that I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. Um, I might be upgrading the shocks or the stabilizer. I don't know yet. So we'll uh, we'll see where this goes. Right now, we'll just do one project at a time. I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you then.